Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I have a quick guide for the ironworks compound. I will quickly show you some angles and peak spots that perhaps you didn't know about. This compound used to be very camper friendly and still is to some degree, but recently the developers tweaked and added a few spots. These changes have made it much easier to make plays compared to before. However, I do feel this compound needs a little more tweaking by the devs as these changes were minimal. If you have any additional spots I didn't go over here, feel free to comment down below and help out your fellow hunters. And be sure to like the video as well as it really helps the channel. But with that aside, let's get right into Ironworks. Alright, so starting off on the west side of the compound going towards the center, you can see there are these openings which are perfect for throwing any type of consumable. These openings are relatively new. They used to have a metal grate over them which made it impossible to shoot through or throw anything through them. Now right next to these openings there are two gaps in the roof on either side of this room. This leftmost spot is good for throwing as well, but the one over here on the right you can actually see into from the roof. I have gotten many kills from the roof looking into the building, even though it's a little risky. Going back inside, there is another roof opening just above the last spot. This particular spot gives you more options compared to the previous ones. Looking from the outside, if you are brave enough to peek this, you can see directly down into the building where I was just standing. Back inside, you can hop up onto the center area which allows you to get a solid line of sight onto the westward roof. To get a line of sight towards the eastern metal roof, you can hop up onto this metal area. If you are defending the layer, these spots give you some much needed visibility towards the perimeter of the compound, which is useful if there are multiple teams surrounding you. Moving to the northern interior of the main building, there are a few spots that can give line of sight onto the main roof as well as the southern center courtyard area. These are very common spots, so I wouldn't peek more than once or twice from here. And be extremely cautious if you're on the outside. It's easy to see out of, but near impossible to see into, unless you have some well-placed fusies. Going back into the interior, there are two additional spots in this room. On the northernmost wall, you can see another opening that allows you to see towards the mounds outside. Just above it is a great spot to throw explosives into that interior room as well. Going around the side of the building, we have an opening that you can see pretty far into from this western roof. This spot is super risky as you can be exposed greatly to any perimeter teams. For easy roof access on the south side of the compound near the tower, you can run along the wall and mantle up onto the roof. Going inside one last time, there is the spot here where you can see out of this wood gate. Just jump onto these boxes here. Lastly, on the southern perimeter near the boathouse, there is a gap under the fence that allows you to see a limited area in the courtyard. This spot is for a very specific scenario and just thought it was worth mentioning as it conceals your position pretty well. So those are all my spots for the Ironworks compound. Definitely not the cheekiest or greatest spots, but I hope I helped you get an idea of the options you have available to you within this compound. Angles and compound knowledge can without a doubt win you a fight. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this one, and be sure to check out my previous compound guide videos. Thanks for watching everyone, catch you all in the next video.